Hello, hello, Max here, and today I wanted to get real naughty and talk frames per second. You may want to ask your kids to leave the room for this one. I'm going to get a little technical, but please bear with me. This is really useful to understand for any game. There is an assumption that everybody makes about frames per second and monitor refresh rates. Monitor refresh rate is the number of times a second the monitor can display a full frame. The assumption is that if you have a 60Hz monitor, there is no benefit to rendering more than 60 frames a second. This is just not true. Your monitor and PC are not synchronized, meaning the computer will render a frame before the monitor refreshes to display it. This will create delays that result in input lag. Input lag can make the mouse seem sluggish, and to improve your accuracy, you need that mouse movement to be snappy and consistent. No matter what your refresh rate is, you want to pump out as many frames per second as you can to keep everything as responsive as possible. Don't ever use VSync, it doesn't synchronize anything. The computer will render the frame at its normal rate, it just delays when the frame is sent to the monitor. VSync generally creates more input lag. It does stop screen tearing, but honestly if you're trying to improve your game, either deal with the screen tearing or invest in a better monitor. I personally use a 144Hz BenQ monitor, but there are plenty of good 120Hz monitors out there if you don't want to pay the price tag on a BenQ screen. If you do have a monitor with a higher refresh rate, we still want to pump out as many frames as possible to keep everything smooth and responsive. Let's get into the video settings and see what we can do to boost that FPS and still see everything we need. Display Mode You will see a performance increase in full screen, but I run other software for recording purposes so I go borderless windowed. Target Display If you're running multiple screens, you can choose which one the game runs on. Resolution Always set this to whatever your monitor's native resolution and refresh rate is. If you need to lower the resolution for performance increase, there is a render scale setting we can adjust later on. Field of view How much are you able to see? You want this as high as possible to have the best knowledge of your surroundings, so leave it at 103. Aspect ratio is tied to the native resolution of your monitor. As you can see, mine is 16 by 9 for a 1080p screen. VSync No, never, don't touch it. Triple buffering This also helps reduce tearing, but at the cost of input lag. Do not use it. Display performance stats This can be turned on and off in game and displays the FPS and connectivity stats on the top left of the screen. The default key binding is Control Shift R. FPS limit Turn this off. We want as many frames per second as we can get. Graphics quality, set this to low. Now open up advanced and we'll change a few things. Render scale, this is the setting I mentioned earlier. Leave this on 100%, but we ideally want to hit at least 90 to 100 FPS or higher if possible. If we run out of other options to turn down, this is the last resort, but it will make the game look fuzzy. Definitely don't increase it, it's a large performance hit for a little gain. Texture quality, change this to medium. The difference between medium and high is not a lot visually, but you get a much better performance. I'm now going to skip down to shadow detail. Everything else is on the default low graphics quality sets. Change the shadow detail to medium. Shadows do come with a noticeable performance impact, but they can allow you to see an enemy before they come round a corner. This can be brought down to low if you're still running below 90 frames per second. Once you've made all the changes, restart the game, jump into training mode and turn on the performance stats with Control shift r Check your FPS in the top left and if you're not happy with how many frames you're rendering, head back to the options and adjust the settings. Change your shadows to low first, but try to avoid turning them off as they are useful. If you still need better performance, set those textures to low and if you're still struggling to hit 90 FPS, adjust the render scaling. If you've set everything up as I have and you're hitting over 200 frames per second, then great! Unless the graphics truly offend you like this, and I still think they look pretty decent, leave your video settings alone. The more frames, the better. Keep that lag input to a minimum and crush the hopes and dreams of your enemies. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. You know where the like button is, and as always, angry rants, thoughts, and feelings in the comments, please. Take it easy, and I'll see you soon.